Just okay. a basic introduction. So we're gonna say it? Yeah. Okay, Corey. We're gonna say it at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, we're uh <laughs> we should try to do all of the questions. Oh, yeah, but we'll just look at each other and guess what the other person is. <laughs> My name's Josh. I play in a band called Pono AM. It's a rock band. I play guitar and I sing. I'm Corey Meyer. I also play in a rock band and I play guitar and I sing. That's what we do. About a lot of different things about what the band name was going to be. Uh, there was a lot of stupid things. We agreed that band names don't really matter anyway because there's bands called Corn, <laughs> and so uh, so the band name came from um, John Stewart. Our, our friend used to play in the band, used to play bass, and me and him have been good friends for a long time. And we would always quote the movie Johnny Tsunami, his, uh, Johnny Tsunami's grandfather, who was played by Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat, would always say, hey, Pono! Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Honestly, just looking for words that we thought would be cool in the band name. And so that stuck. And then um, I think we all agreed that we wanted our music to sound like lo-fi and that it was coming through like an AM radio or something like that. So that's where AM came from. And that's how we arrived at Pono AM. Yeah. I think it's way easier. You don't have to have hardly anything to reach everyone on earth. All you gotta do is spend a lot of hours at the computer and do a lot of research and it's like the furthest thing from making music. It's not fun at all <laughs> but it's significantly easier but you don't have to do yeah you don't have to leave your living room to to reach everyone whatever I mean we like we like what we do a lot of it is making jokes to us and making stuff that we think is funny we made an entire music video that was just uh, us like playing a song in the video but it was just like playing to footage of like thousands of screaming girls at old Beatles concerts and it was just completely like just noise the whole time. It wasn't even actually the song, and uh, we thought that, that was funny. No, not that many other people probably liked yeah, it. But yeah, a lot of people don't know about Shred's video. Yeah, it's Shred's video. Shred's video. Yeah. Right over here, Papa Squat. Yeah, it's a bunch of dust just flew off the deck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably make for a good photo. Shit. I think like performing a new song that's worked out oh, for the first time is like yeah. the most fun thing. That's exciting. Yeah, because you just work on it forever and then you finally get to show it. And it's usually like the most fun to play it whenever it's like a new song. You know, after you've played it for like some months, then it can kind of lose its luster. But yeah, performing a new song for the first time is the most fun part. Yeah, that's very exciting. Because there's so many of our songs, it took us so long to put out our first album. We had been playing some of those songs for so long before we actually like ever recorded them. And so between the time that, not only between the time that we started writing them and then started playing them live, did they change a lot? But in the time between when we started playing them live and when people actually got to hear the recorded versions of them, they probably changed a lot. And um, I'm probably on on the same page as Corey whenever we first start playing them live is the most exciting because you kind of want to see people's reactions. You hope that they feel the same way about it that you do. And also whenever it's just first coming together and we're all working on it is is the funnest because everyone's doing new things and it's going a million different directions a lot of times. Sometimes we all just come together and it just makes sense immediately. And then sometimes I'll be like, well, actually, maybe we should do this, completely change this part. Dude, my guitar's... Whew. Hearing it now, I'm like, fuck, my shit's pretty out of tune on that, but... It's... Yeah, I don't yeah. think any of them are bad songs. I mean, we all, we wrote them at a time because we liked them. Or we were excited about the idea. I think that's one thing that we all like about the band as well. Enjoy playing the songs because we do like the songs. We try to write stuff that we like. Um, or would want to hear from somebody else or something. Um, There's songs we play more than others. Yeah. 
That's the one thing I would say. Some of them, and that comes back to changing them up to keep them interesting because some songs, some songs we play every, almost every show, mm. and those it's it can be it can seem kind of difficult to make that keep that exciting and keep it uh, feel real and like remember what the song meant at the time and how I felt whenever I wrote it. But uh, some I don't know. Some of them are also always bangers. Every time we play the song Silver Sofa, I'm having a great time. Yeah. I think I'm like pretty minimalist in like the things that I need. Like generally if something functions, that's like as that's what I need. <laughs> I need it to function. I don't care. I, a great... I don't have it in here with me. But the wallet that I have right now, my cousin bought it for my dad whenever I was probably like 14 and he thought it was stupid. And I still have that wallet. It was probably like $10. <laughs> so uh, I guess, yeah, if I'm like trying to relate it to like something personally is that I like... I don't know. I guess if I'm like feeling down about something, I'm like, well, I mean, what... I've made it this far, what do I really need, you know? It helps you get more ideas, like, what you can write about. Like, if I don't have any idea what something's about, it's... I guess that rarely happens. It's gotta, it's gotta be something personal to some extent, otherwise I'm like, I don't know what I'm... Yeah. Where do I even take the next line, you know? Just some green pepper? <laughs> a lot of the, a lot of these, a lot of the songs, at least the ones that we've released, like, uh, I think it, from some extent they're from a personal place, at least uh, if it's our ideas about something, even if it's not about us or about like a personal thing, um, it's come. It's definitely coming from somewhere that's probably personal or very much makes it us or our, our views on things. When we wrote Good Vibes, that was kind of like a, just kind of a mantra for me. Uh, I, I had some friends that were like kind of de depressed at a time and I was like trying to write something that I thought would make me feel good. If I if I just thought about it and I was feeling down or whatever, that's initially what that was, and then uh, it and you know it's I mean it's catchy or whatever, but that was initially what that song was. But it wasn't deeply deeply personal or anything like that. It was just kind of like something that I thought would make me feel good. And then there's certain songs on our last album, our only album, that are some of those are a little bit like more personal, like dug down deep a little bit more. But uh, I think the newer stuff that w we've been writing too is a little bit more, some of those songs for me are a little bit more personal and honest, but not in a way that's like gross or make you feel like a uh, weird, like, or like, you know, shut up. I don't want to hear about this. Writing songs is in a way th like usually ends up being pretty thera therapeutic, uh, especially if it's about something in, in particular that is you're going through or whatever, but it's never intentional. I'm, I'm never like, oh, this sucks. I better write a song about this because I don't really usually know how to, how to put those things into words. It's never intentional. It, it just ends up being like a melody or something will come to me, whether, you know, whether I mean for it to, or I, I just, it's never, it's never really forced. It's never like, it never comes out that way. It always ends up accidentally being like, oh, well, this is what I'm singing about. I didn't realize this is how I feel about it. I didn't really realize until I started writing it or something. So it didn't take a lot of effort to do it for self-fulfillment. So it's like, yeah. yeah, I mean, I enjoy doing it. It's, it takes the, the effort that it takes to actually like have a band and play shows is like barely beyond like you barely have to do any effort outside of like just playing and knowing how to play the songs and having a good time so like that I can't see like not wanting to do that now I've been thinking about what what I really want out of the bangs for like three years in or maybe a little bit more and I think the most satisfying thing is, is really just making stuff that we like and uh, and that kind of right now being it because I mean that's what anybody wants more than anything is just to hear your music, especially if, if they like you. So um, I'm thinking a little bit less about the grand scheme of everything and just thinking more about just uh, making things and putting it out for people to hear and see because 
we like making music videos and we like the visual aspect of being in a band too. And so, uh, yeah, I'm on that page right now where I'm almost 100% about self-fulfillment. <laughs> right now, personally, is how I feel at the moment. <laughs> Thanks, man.